quick uh, rest in peace to Anthony Durante Pitbull too. Yes. And also the public enemy themselves, Flyboy Rocker Rock jo and Johnny Grunge. Keep of going. Course, uh, rest in peace, Chris Candido. Mm -hmm. uh, rest in peace. Oh, God. Guys, help Hack me out. Myers. <laughs> That's about everybody. Hack Myers CW. died? Uh, that I yeah. did not know. Yeah, yeah Hack died time. a few years ago. Um, okay, if we look at that original ECW card, let's see. Balls, Axel, Hack Myers, Tracy Smothers, Big Dick Dudley. Fuck, I, I get sad thinking about all this I'm shit. I'm sorry Cronus, I brought it up, but I mean, that's uh, not... Hold that's on, not... Cronus. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's Bam Bam. Bam, Bam Bam, yeah. Fuck, yeah, it's really actually sad when you look at everybody who's gone from that. Yeah, did we um, mention Rick Rude? Rest in peace, Rick Rude. Yeah, of course, Rick Rude. Um, Rest in peace, Tommy Rogers. Yeah, I Tommy mean, there's Rogers. so much great talent that came through. It was, it was a different of it. era of wild men in this business, and you had them in a locker room where everything was legal. And I, you know, just to mention Rick Rude, I think that's what really got me to ECW. I remember it might have been him seeing him on ECW, and I'm like, what the hell's he doing on there? And then he was on WCW, then e, uh, WWF, all that same time. That same week. Yeah, yeah, literally that same week. Because yeah. he made his last appearance for ECW at the Elks Lodge that they filmed when, Chain, when, uh, when Bam Bam beat Chain for the title. Mm -hmm. That was in October 2000, uh, 1997. Which then led to the November to Remember match. That's his last match. That was his last time there was the November to Remember pay-per-view. Mm. Then he showed up on Raw, and like he was allowed to ba bounce back and forth. Well, he was already on Raw by then. Mm. And then Raw was pre-taped because they were going to Europe, and the whole Montreal screw job happens. So he does that last November to Remember for ECW. He did the Raw taping. And then while Nitro was live, he showed up at Nitro, clean shaven. But you know what the thing about Rick Rude is, and like a lot of people do not realize, he was a devoted family man. Like apparently, yeah. I, I read that he would mm. actually tape his wedding ring, and but he would never take it off, and yeah. he wouldn't he wouldn't mess around with any of the ring rats. He never so, did any of that. Yeah, so I mean, like you know, he and he was religious, which was funny too. Like Steve Austin tells the story, like. They're cursing and everything, and then Austin says, "God damn it!" And uh, Rick stops and goes, "Steve, do you really need to take the Lord's name in vain?" I could just hear him say that in his voice. 